Today we're here with Congressman Kennedy, and the goal is to bring together Latino CEOs within the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math. For me, it's really an economic issue, and as our economy continues to, to climb through recovery, we need to make sure that all everybody, all communities, have access to that economic recovery. Having private sector at the table is super important because they are who will be hiring these kids that we're preparing for. So that they're invested it means one thing, that they know that there's money involved. If they, they know that if they don't get the right people trained at the right level, their cost for um, employing people is going to go through the roof. This has to be a, a, a teamwork effort, or a team effort going forward. We need the input of our corporate partners to understand how federal and state policy can help strengthen some of those efforts, but they also need to lead. Right now, it's estimated that about 50 percent of all engineers in the United States are going to retire within 10 years. Uh, here you have the Latino population being the fastest growing in the United States, yet currently representing only 6 percent of all STEM degrees. So when your fastest growing population is not participating in those fields, we, we obviously need have some work to do. We've filed a number of pieces of legislation uh, in Washington, D.C. Uh, one we'll talk about here today is called the STEM Gateways Act, which really tries to focus on, uh, again, women, minorities, low-income uh, communities, trying to make sure that they have access to the skills that they're going to need to compete in uh, the economy today and, and tomorrow.